So NASDAQ had a big problem with the IPO of Facebook uh, back in May. It seemed like they were getting a bit of a respite from criticism yeah. in recent weeks, especially after Knight Capital came a cropper on a technical glitch of its own. Now, a, a new sort of critic has emerged, and that's Citigroup, Anthony. What, yep. what's, what's Citigroup saying? Well, they're essentially saying, look, the, pro the problem we've got here is, is that uh, all right, NASDAQ made the, had all these mistakes, and they go through some of them, the technology issues, right. whatever. So, but the issue is not so much whether they made mistakes or not, although they, they talk us through that very nicely. Right. Said, but the problem is they're trying to hide behind the fact that they are also a regulatory institution. Sort of self-regulatory. Self-regulatory, and yeah. you know, as a result, the amount of money they should pay in compensation should be limited. Remember, I think initially um, Nasdaq said we'll pay. They've been a bit weaselly about this whole thing, right? I mean, they yeah. came out with this initial plan of like 40 million. Yeah, it was not. It's going to involve some make good on trades. Yeah, and they're only, they're only putting 2 million of their own cash into it. They've since increased it to, to 60 million overall, 62 million. But I think the cash amount they're putting in from their own coffers is still pretty small. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, and you think about how much have people lost on this. I think if well, you. Well, I, I think 500 million is the sort roughly of if speaking, you, add, if yeah. you add up what people have said, yeah. it's about. So they're getting, what, 12 cents, 15 cents? on a dollar whatever it is right, so right. it's not a huge amount and it's all to do with Nasdaq saying we're a regulatory institution you shouldn't actually right. Be giving us but yet, that much trouble. It's a publicly traded company with shares, and they make exactly. money on yeah, this, and the, exactly yeah, I mean, the whole this point, kind of thing. And, and, and Citigroup's letter takes us through all this, saying, "Look, these guys—they're a public institution. They were in public for competition with, with New York Stock Exchange yep. for this. They're talking they about doing this, this really business opportunity. They make this really interesting point that actually Nasdaq was able to sell some shares, or was able to like execute some trades and during during yeah, the trading Nasdaq day. Facebook, seems like they ended up short while everybody else ended up long. <laughs> exactly. so they made the Although money. I think I think the money they made on that is forming. <laughs> part of the uh, the 62 million they're giving back so it's not that unusual for that to happen but the fact that they can get these trades executed when no one else could it does look a bit odd there's right, also this facility group also raises this point which i hadn't heard before which is the idea that um it's the timing nasdaq is trying to say well by sort of sometime in the afternoon everybody should have had visibility on the trades yeah city group saying wait a minute like it was really like after the day closed you exactly. look at the amount of money ubs lost it certainly doesn't seem like they had visibility anytime no, no. So and i think if you uh, you ask any any customer who put an order in uh, certainly any retail customer they say look you we we emailed people we emailed our broker and they said this is all now in in, in negotiation we can't really tell you what happened and why there clearly yet. was and chaos on the yeah, day absolutely. i mean the big question really is why is it, it sounds like night capital citadel some others are sort of easing to the idea of this 62 million or so yeah. settlement and now you have Citigroup standing up. The question is sort of right. why are there some it is, players? It is strange. Well, I mean, not, one not way Knight was, was looking a, a bit more favourably on the uh, on the increased offer even before they had right. their massive problem themselves. Uh, right. And Citadel, you know, Citadel is pretty aggressive, right? You can you can see them thinking, you know what? Maybe we can get a little bit of extra from Nasdaq by the back door. Maybe a cutback on trades in the future. And also, UBS is one of the big retail players, along when with the other. When is UBS going to stand about. up and say something? And, and they're, they're saying nothing. But also, if you're Citadel or you're Knight and you think, look, maybe there's a chance if these guys take that big of a hit we can actually get out there and steal some of their business they're going to be in dis who knows i mean okay. ubs has a lot of money <laughs> ubs is a big institution let me take revise <laughs> that well, okay we'll leave it there on that note of intrigue and we'll have more breaking views tomorrow